Fighting on the bus is probably the most common form of extreme student behavior that you'll encounter. This could be anything from two kids hitting one another to a full-blown fight involving many students armed with weapons. Yes, weapons. Again, we don't mean to frighten you, but we all know from the news that some kids are bringing weapons to school. So if they're bringing them to school and they're riding the bus, they're bringing them on the bus too. So what do you do? Well, as you recall from the last course, if a fight breaks out, stop the bus in a safe place and call into dispatch to quickly tell them what's happening. Then walk towards the fight and say or shout in a loud voice, stop fighting. Do not get too close to the fighting or it may spill over and involve you. However, get close enough so they can clearly hear you. If this works, place one of the students in front of the bus near you and the other in the back, way out of reach of each other. If it doesn't work and they continue to fight, say or shout, stop fighting or I will call the police. If they continue to fight, go and call the police and or radio dispatch. Then go back to where they're fighting, but not too close and say loudly or shout, the police have been called and they're on their way. Follow the policy in your district as to who you should call first. Do not, I repeat, do not get involved with trying to physically stop the fight. Never touch a student. Do not try to pull them apart or get between them. You're not a security guard or a policeman and you should never get directly involved. Call for help and allow trained experts to deal with the situation. Yeah, last year Linda, one of our drivers, tried to pull two students apart and got hit by a wild punch and injured her back when she fell. She was off work for over a year and had to have an operation to fix it. She never should have gotten physically involved. She wasn't fit enough or trained to do it. In the heat of the moment, it's hard to resist the urge to intervene but concentrate on the other students. If possible, separate all the other students from the fight and instruct them not to become involved and to remain calm. Make sure you report all the details to dispatch and seek guidance. If any fight escalates to include weapons, stop the bus in a safe place immediately. Call for assistance either to the police or your dispatch operation, whichever your location prefers. Try to calm the students down and, if possible, gently try to persuade them into handing the weapons over to you. Use the students' names as this helps create a personal contact with them. If that doesn't work, do your best to keep everyone calm and safe until the authorities arrive. That may include evacuating the other students from the bus or moving them away from the kids with the weapons. Do not try to grab the weapon or overpower the person using it. Time is your friend. Allow the issue to calm down and do not create a confrontation. In these extreme cases, the police will handle the offending students. You will have to provide a report and may be involved in criminal proceedings against the students. Above all, remember, you will probably never face such a situation but being prepared is the best defense you can have. Hopefully, your heads aren't whirling with this talk about weapons, but let's backtrack a moment and talk about what you might do to keep weapons off the bus. For starters, keep your eyes out for suspicious behavior. Remember, you know these kids through building rapport with them, so you should know if someone is acting strangely. If you think a student has a weapon, how you act depends upon where the student is when you suspect or identify that they may have a weapon. If you see a student has a weapon as you're driving up to the stop, do not stop. Drive past the stop and immediately notify the police or your dispatch and ask for help. If the student is on the bus or getting on the bus, quietly call dispatch or the police so the student with the weapon cannot hear you and tell them what you've seen. Ask them to have a school administrator or the police meet your bus. When you arrive at the school, talk to the administrator or the police. 
tell them your suspicions, and identify the student. This person will handle the incident, though you will be more than likely asked to retell your story should any disciplinary actions take place. 